Hey there YouTube. Well, today, or tonight rather, because it's kind of dark out, and um, before I begin, I'll go ahead and apologize for the dogs. There's a dog on over there and over there. But for those of you who are new to the channel, there's a lot of you who are new to the channel. This is my dad's 2003 Toyota Highlander. Unfortunately, this is just the base four-cylinder model, but it gets decent gas mileage, and it's good for what my dad uses it for. He doesn't, very rarely uses any highway driving, or does any highway driving. And, um, yeah, go ahead and, I'll go ahead and apologize for my dog as well. He doesn't like seeing people on the street. Anyways, back to the car. Um, it was washed two weeks ago. Yeah, it's kind of dirty again, but if you could see it in the sun, not sure if the camera, yeah, the camera's kind of picking it up. It's a very nice electric green mica is the color of it. It does sparkle very nice when it's clean. I did clean up the tires and the wheels two days ago or two days from when I filmed this. Um, you can see this one's got crap on it already. I didn't put any tire polish on them or anything. These are 16 inch steel wheels. They came on just four cylinder Highlanders. V6 models came with um, as, um, standard with 17 inch alloys. The tires measure 225, 70 and they're BF Goodrich long trails. They do need new tires. They don't quite have the mileage on them, but they are getting, they're about five years old. And yeah, this wheel, is a, they all have rust on them. We live in uh, Massachusetts, for those of you who are new. You can see that wheel is held up a little better. I just love the paint. I love, like, the one thing I will give my dad credit for is choosing this color. You can see the headlights are faded on the front, but what are you going to do? I'll clean them up this summer. You can see it's due for inspection next month, but it should pass without a problem. The car did come standard with roof rails. Fog lights only came on limited V6 models. There were three trims, base four cylinder, base V6, and then limited, um, which only, was only available with the V6. More on the engines later. But like I said, this is just a quick update video. See, as a, um, all Highlanders had a single port exhaust. This one's a little bent from when my mom backed into something when we first got the car. It's see, judging from the outside, it doesn't look that bad, but when you hop inside, it starts to get a little messy. Yes, um, the floor mat has a hole in it. It needs to be shampooed. The seat needs to be shampooed. It probably just needs to get, we need to get rid of it, honestly. But it is, they are very comfy seats. You know, that's, that one's got a coffee stain on it, a stain from where my dad rests his elbow and his hand. He doesn't work in a very clean workplace, to put it nicely. But that's what this thing is, it's used for work. Uh, materials though, it is pretty nice. Uh, for 2003, it's an old Toyota. You have cloth, a cloth portion here. On models with leather, this is leather padded. They have a decently padded armrest. A lot of the padding has just seated on both the front and the back. And I'll go ahead and move this. This is kind of an unexpected video, so I'm sorry if I'm all over the place. Eight-way manual um, driver's seat, passenger's a four-way. Pretty nice that they included a lumbar support. But it, um, besides it being ripped up, it is a very decent cloth material. Stepping inside. I'm sorry about it being a little dark. Go ahead and put the lights on. And I don't have the regular key fob with me, I just have the spare key, which is mine, because um, I'm driving this car until I get my license and I go for my road test July 28th. Uh, more on that in a little bit when we get to the outside again. It's got the classic Toyota Dinger. We currently have 114,541 miles on it, and we did buy this car brand new. See, we have the four-cylinder, 2.4-liter four-cylinder. I'll, I'll start it with the door open. Not bad for 114,000 miles. It is due for an oil change soon. Ignore this. It's not really due at 111. It's due at 114. 
This is number change the sticker. And we'll roll down the window. Driver's window is automatic in both directions. See, if you hear that rattling down below, that's the heat shield. We're gonna get that adjusted in next week or something like that. Under the hood, which is hot because it just did a couple of acceleration runs. But you have a 2.4 liter four cylinder, making 155 horsepower and 163 foot pounds of torque. This is the same engine from the um, Camry, and this vehicle is based off the Camry, it rides on the Camry's chassis. The other option was a 3 liter V6. Um, both engines did have a four speed automatic. In 2004, when the Highlander was updated, a new 3.3 liter V6 replaced the 3 liter unit, and that was paired to a 5 speed automatic. The 2.4 liter 4 cylinder and the um, 4 speed automatic combo did carry over until 2007. Take another look at the headlights. Now, um, some personal updates while I'm going around the car. Like I said, road test is July 28th. Um, I'm looking at a 6th gen Accord for a first car. Coupe or sedan, I really don't matter. Um, I don't know whether I want a 4 cylinder or a V6. It really doesn't matter to me. Um, I'll be rubbing the crap out of it anyways. I don't beat on my cars, but I do like acceleration and fast acceleration. But the problem with the V6 is it kind of drinks fuel. And I'm not going to have a ton of money for gas. But for those of you who think my parents are paying for my car, they're not, so... Haters can hop off right now. See a third brake light up there with your little washer thing for your rear wiper. And that's about pretty much sums it up for the outside. Back seat's held up fine. This seat's all the way back, I still have a good amount of room. You have pockets in both seats. And a very attractive dash design, I've always liked them. On these Highlanders. Materials carry through back here, except this is hard plastic. We do have two cup holders on each side. And the armrest is decently padded. Now it's very easy to get into the cargo area. Um, and we do this a lot actually. You just push that, pull that lever there to push the seat down. And then Look at all that cargo room you have. See, we do have wood back here. Currently, the car is always like this. We always have something in the back. You can see, this, um, that side folds the whole thing. Like I said, we do use the um, car cargo area a lot. And the seats do recline as well. Coming up front, my phone fell out of my pocket. Um, we did get an aftermarket sunroof fitted. However, it only tilts for now because um, I smashed the glass one year cleaning off snow and um, we're afraid to slide it out now because we're not sure if it works or not. It hasn't been the same since, but we'll get it checked out eventually. The future of this car, we really don't know. My dad kind of wants to keep it, but at the same time he doesn't. The only reason he wants to keep it is because he does he likes not having a payment. Um, single zone, manual climate control. The AC it probably needs a recharge. It's been like this for two years or so, but my dad really doesn't care. He prefers to have the windows down anyways. See the light up there? The storage bin. The basic radio, this is not the JBL unit, but it does have a single CD player and a tape deck. But we don't use the tape deck, obviously. You have a power outlet over there. Cigarette lighter, but we don't smoke. I don't know why there are ashes in there. This vehicle's never been smoked in once. <clears throat> it's probably just from people playing with the lighter. Like I said, a four-speed automatic. Nothing special. It's an okay transmission. Does it does have low gear selection? <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I've, I I kind of noticed when you're in reverse. You kind of tend to drop it down into second gear. The glove box is okay. It's damped. Pretty well sized. 
Um, I, on the base model Highlanders, it does come with the silver painted plastic. Yeah, very plasticky, but I, it's a lot better than the wood trim. Coming down here, this is where your heated seats would be. Um, snow mode. We'll start the car out in second gear. Give her better traction in the snow. It does help. Your lights are over here, along with your turn signals. Hazards up there. Your power mirrors, chain shoulder, and um, a tilt, tilt, uh, tilt steering wheel. It is typical um, Japanese vinyl. And the steering in this car is actually not that bad. It's not heavy, but it's not light either, not like the Camry. But um, I'm kind of giving you guys a full tour and this video is getting very long. Um, down here, ashtray, we use it as a coin holder. It is removable. Cup holders are nasty. And you have a little storage bin here with all my dad's CDs. So I think that sums it up. I will give you guys a little driving clip of me pulling it back in the driveway. Since I'm only on a permit, not supposed to be doing this, but oh well. Yeah, I'll even go around the circle behind me for you guys. Very easy car to maneuver. I mean, it just weighs a little bit more than a Camry of its day, but it does kind of drive like a Camry. But it does not have an electric throttle, thankfully. The Camry did have an electric throttle. You know, I'll back up a little bit. I will upload a separate video of me going like 0 to 45, but I'm going to have a little acceleration run here. Actually, we'll just drop it down into low. Get that revs up higher. It's just about all I can do on this street. It's very short. See, pulling out of this street's always fun. I'm not used to driving with one hand. Um, way crooked. Sorry about this portion being a little rough, guys. I'm not used to driving with a camera in my hand. But, that about sums it up. Go ahead and shut her down. I feel like to roll the window up. But yeah, that about sums it up. Thanks for watching, and um, when the car is clean, fully clean again, I will make a full review. So thanks for watching, and um, stay subscribed for more.